Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I just want to just kind of tire right now, taking a break from Zwift. Doing a little Zwift right there, a little Zwift action. I uh, just want to show off this uh, Toll Peak Transformer RX. A real quick video. It's my first time using it. Uh, right now, I got the uh, my precious uh, Continental Classic Grand Prix Classic on, and I don't want to really mess it up because it's goes on this bike. I uh, can't really see it, but it's a GT Edge, and I got the Brooks saddle right there, and the Brook bar tape. There's a mirror right there, but I took it off. Uh, handlebar bag, Toe Peak, uh, not sponsored or anything by them, but I just want to showcase their product because it seems to work with my kind of style of riding. Um, this is a Toe Peak Rack 2, Beam Rack RX, which is funny because that's the Toe Peak Transformer RX. Anyways, it's got these two hooks. Uh, kind of confusing to use but especially when you're like in a tight area like this but what you do is you pinch it you pinch it in and you can move it up or down and then you open it up and it'll stay uh, right now I got the bike up in the air like I said so I'm gonna swap on this tire to so I can continue doing Zwift uh, on this uh, kinetic rock and roll it's kind of warm right now so it's good to take a break anyways all right, just want to showcase this, and I also want to showcase the Otega RX uh, derailleur that I got. The, the one with the clutch. Um, the clutch is right here, you know. Oh, come on, it's on uh, off right now. But as soon as you hit the clutch on, it should stay. Uh, people prefer to use it for like, uh, like if you're taking out the tire, like right now. Uh, I, probably, I probably won't be able to do it with one hand and one hand recording. But I'll just kind of explain it real quick. Uh, going from a short to this medium, uh, it's a big difference uh, in terms of cable length as well. The short used a longer cable, a longer cable, and then they used like the housing that was longer too. Uh, the RX Otegra, which is, hey, it's funny. This is RX, that's RX, and this is the RX. Uh, anyways. Um, anyways, uh, uh, this thing work is compatible with the Otegra 6800. Uh, I'm not sure if people talked about it, but yeah, anyways, it's the Otegra 6800 shifters. Uh, as you can see, the crankshaft is the crank set is the Otegra as well. You know, brakes, you know, everything on the GT Edge, uh, with the Brooks saddle and all that, like I said, um, just just wanted to make this a classic bike that's why it's I want to make it beautiful and chrome polished out and uh, with the Grand Prix uh, the cable I had to cut it shorter everything worked fine the amazing thing about this one is that I just the, the screw down here I'm able to, I'm able to throw on this 11 to 36 cassette uh, now a lot of people might think you don't need it which it's fine because I don't have the legs to push like small gears not no more but other than that, um, it might be for when I carry stuff because I usually like on bike rides now, I carry this bag and it's kind of heavy sometimes. So it's good to have a smaller gear, a bigger gear, which makes it easier to push up the hills. And I'm kind of done with those Strava things. I do use it still, but I don't really care about it as often. Got a few KOMs on the line, on my line still, on my account still. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. But yeah, I uh, just want to showcase the Otega RX as well. It's pretty nifty. Uh, I had to add like an extra like link or so to make it shift to this. Other than that, it's fine. It's been working flawlessly with the 6800 shifters that I just showed you guys. And just want to make a video to showcase it because I know a lot of people don't talk about it. But um, with the clutch mechanism too, I think that's what sold me on it versus the R8000. Um, luckily I waited a little longer before I got this I would have got the R8000 which it's good too but then I wanted to try the new stuff you know the clutch alright 